Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, April 11th, 2024. This is Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth for Longmont Public Media. We have on Monday, first quarter moon, the first phase after our eclipse. I did get to Texas and got um, clouds cleared and we got a beautiful view. We had some cirrus, but it's my second eclipse after my, my life. So yeah, I got the 2017 eclipse. So. Uh, the next one is in 2045, and it actually goes across southern and central Colorado. So, 21 years from now, August 12th. We have one sunspot really notable facing the Earth. Uh, another one starting to rotate in. Looking at uh, drought conditions from last week to this, we had drought relief up in the northwest corner. Looking nationwide, not much change as they've outlined some of this in long term, but uh, that seems to be kind of transient. Looking for smoke conditions, we have nothing in the west, and things are got really wet. Um, we had a foot of rain fall around Amarillo as we were driving back from the eclipse. So even saw a couple brief tornado touchdowns uh, to the left of the road. It, it was exciting uh, the afternoon after the eclipse. Let's take a look at our quasi animation of snowpack that kind of lingered below until recent storms. And here we are uh, just about at the peak of the season. So I think it's about this time that ski resorts started announcing when they're going to close because they kind of know how fast this is going to uh, go. But the snowpack up there is really good, so we should see some staying open longer. For precipitation, we did get some mountain rains and some up the northeast. Uh, urban corridor kind of got nothing but sprinkles. Looking at severe weather chances, the, the climatology says a little bit of severe weather can be expected out on the eastern plains. Uh, in this time so it's going to keep expanding until we have uh, that right here look at the actual severe weather the remains of all the severe weather and that that impulse is down here in florida in the gulf coast and then it goes up the east coast and then for friday uh, a little bit of a chance of convection in a couple spots but nothing around here looking locally we're dry dry and dry uh, Oh, those are the wrong days. So that was Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Our normal temperature going from 60 to 63, normal low 32 to 35, really are entering spring. We can still get a good shot of snow um, and some cold weather, but it doesn't linger well anymore. So it's here and gone and melting. Uh, in the short term, very dry, and then a lot of unsettled weather next week with cooler temperatures. So we'll take a look at that in a moment. Lots of moisture in the west. There's a subtropical plume way out there looking at uh, the highlights so next Tuesday so yeah well not quite a week but uh, we have a upper level low carving it into the state and we have looks like temperature is too warm for low lying snow just some mountain snows and then Wednesday another impulse comes pushing as that one heads out and that does bring more cold air with it we might see some snow if not here very close to the urban corridor and then next saturday so a week and a half from now we have this kind of zonal flow looking thing and pretty good period of upslope so let's take a look at that in the animations so there goes the low that's creating the severe weather on the east giant hot ridge we're really going to be warm through the weekend here comes this cutoff low rotating around and then Monday it crosses the state Then this next lobe starts to bring itself down a little further north this time <coughs> and then way out next weekend Here comes a little ripple coming through as this trough kind of hangs out out there also forming a cutoff low that in the long term will probably affect us. We have cool air now. It's a little cold front coming through yesterday and some light showers and then real heat in the west all the way through the weekend. And it pulls out on the plains and the colder air starts coming in Monday, Tuesday and that 
sweeps down, giving us maybe our snow chances, but the real front doesn't come down until Thursday. Look how sharp that is and how extremely cold that is. So yeah, we're not done with feeling cold, uh, but it just stays on the east side of the Rockies. Dense, cold, shallow air. But you can see it just keeps getting reinforced and like that. So see what happens moisture-wise. Again, this is interesting tool to look at. It matters a lot in the summer when we're looking for thunderstorms, but you can see we'll get some cloudiness over the weekend. Here comes that next low. Here comes the deep tropical moisture. And it kind of surges up on the plains and wraps around the low. Another bit of abnormally high precipitable water behind that. And that's good for that. Interesting to watch the dew points here. Watch the uh, higher dew points in the 30s and 40s. They keep trying to sneak into the state. Dry through the weekend. Then on Monday that low forms. And it wraps down from the north. And then continues to get pushed up into uh, the plains until the super cold front comes through. So let's take a look at what this looks like in the surface precipitation. Again, very dry through the weekend. Real little rain showers look like in the mountains. No, nothing big. Temperatures are quite warm, so you're going to see some melting happening. See the snow pit take a little dip. Okay, and then this low forms and you got mountain snows and storms and rain on the plains. Here comes the snow with the second low, and it looks like a oh, rain snow mix at the lower elevation. A pretty heavy snow. And here comes this long period of upslope that seems to create snow and rain, but just keeps going uh, throughout the end of the week and into the following weekend. So over the next five days, not much happening rain or snow. Over the next 10 days, this is significant water again in the mountains and significant snow, another 10 inches plus in a lot of places. So we have 60s, 70s, and then possibly 80 on the weekends. Yep, this could be your first 80 since the last year. And then we cool down with rain chances returning Monday and Tuesday. So check out Long Mountain Leader for frequent weather updates and local news. This has been Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth urging you to keep looking up.